Welcome to the Arclight Battery, your power source for all things Warcraft Rumble related. And we're back. Uh, we're going to start making weekly videos again now that Global Launch has happened. Um, it just seems like the right time. I've been watching a lot of YouTube content creators lately. Um, they're making a ton of great content, but I really want to give my spin on some of the game. Um, and what better time to do that than Global Launch. Um, but before we get back into the today's video... Um, I just want to say thank you for watching and thank you for being here. It means the world to me and I appreciate it. Um, today's video is all about PvP. Uh, I had some people asking me in the Discord a little bit today um, about some of my team comps that I'm running. Um, and currently, we are playing Jaina, Baron, and Sneed. Today, I'm going to show you my Sneed deck profile as well as a couple games, okay? So. Currently, oh, he's this direction. This is what we're running. So this deck is very specific about gold control. I think every deck fights for gold in PvP. That's how you win. You get gold advantage and then you overwhelm your opponent. But this deck specifically. So what we are trying to do is take control of the middle lane that has the two chests and then get Sneed with lead with greed to get both of them because that will give you a 12 gold gain if you get both of them and it's very quick 12 gold it's like six gold then you have a couple seconds and then six more gold um so you have time to play things in between so you're not over capped uh on gold and you can get a really big push going as well as gold saved to interact with what your opponent does to try and stop your big push so this deck is very important about gaining control of the middle of the ground um minor trait it's good in some maps but this deck we're specifically trying to control the middle um we've got chain lightning here um very important for this meta uh kills harpies on even level used to deny your enemy kobold uh used to kill sappers which aren't amazing at the moment but um this gets rid of them if you find them um it stuns banshee so if they try and take a good unit with their Banshee, you can chain lightning it and then generally your unit kills it. Um, it knocks things out of stealth. It stuns flyers like Drake and Rind so that uh, your flying units or your ranged units can get off another hit or two. Uh, very, very good unit. Uh, chain lightning is awesome. Um, Troll is kind of okay. Honestly, I wish I had the Poison talent for him, but Big Bad Voodoo is really good too. He's specifically here because Rin decks are pretty hard for us. Uh, so having that extra range support to kill flying units is fantastic. Um, I don't know if he's the best unit to use, but right now Horde slots are so weak. There aren't a lot of other good units to play in them. Um, so this is what we're using. Then we have Warsong Raider, uh, which is a horde unit, so we could put it in the previous mentioned horde slot, but then I don't really like any of the other siege units currently, uh, at least for this specific build. There's no ranged one that will help you deal with Rend, so and that's kind of our big problem right now is Rend. Um, you got three talents here, Saboteur, which reduces the damage the towers deal by 50% for three seconds when she hits them. That one's pretty good. Um... We also have one that breaks armor uh, if she hits a unit with armored. I've heard this one might be bugged, so I've been avoiding it. Also, there's not a lot of armored units in the meta right now, so I've just been using this. It's probably not the best, but it it's really good against rocket towers and flame towers. Um, but currently we're at arrow towers, so the single target towers, so... Not amazing, but it's what we're using currently. We've got Dark Iron Miner, which kind of takes the place of Quillbore, but he also will take control of mines very quickly. Um, once again, we're trying to get as much gold as we can while denying our opponent's gold. That way we can have that big push with Sneed down the middle to take both of the chests. Um, and whatever gold we can gain before the chests come back up, will mean our defense for the chests will be better. 
running Fury Talent here just makes him mine quicker. It also makes him like a decent DPS unit if he can get to the tower or a unit um, while you have something else tanking it. Um, giving him armor is fine. Um, pretty good, honestly. Um, but I'm just trying to get gold quickly. And then dropping a mine. The mines recently got buffed, so they're probably better now. I still don't know if they're worth it. So we're going with Fury here. Griffin Rider. Super underrated unit. Two gold. Um, plus three range is the talent we're using. Makes it incredible for anti-air. Um, just air support. Supporting your Cobalt or your Miner. It's, it's really good. Um, it also helps you cycle back the things you're looking for. Um, so there's that. Um, perfect unit. Great unit. Glad it's two gold. Glad it's in the game. Wish it were 25. But that's okay. And then we have, last but not least, our safe pilot. So we're using Coming in Hot, which deploys twice as fast and burns nearby enemies. Um, this is mainly to have on-demand damage rather than the stealth, um, because you can get knocked out of stealth um, pretty easily, especially with Chain Lightning being so good in the meta. Uh, also, it's slower to take chests. A lot of the time, if this is in your opening hand, you use it to take your opponent's chest because it denies them that gold and gets a unit on the field. Um, but you have to be quick about it, and maybe we'll see that in a couple games. Um, no Schmutt neither. Polymorph's the first blaster target. Um, this was good when Thalnos was big in the meta um, during beta, but he was bugged, and you needed an answer for him, and this did it pretty well. Currently, I don't think there's a ton of use for this, Thalnos is dead in the water too. They nerfed him and fixed his bug and capped him at 10 levels. So he's really bad. Um, so you probably won't see much use out of this. But coming as hot, uh, coming in hot rather is where we're landing. Okay, once again, gold control is important with this deck. You want to get your Sneed down the middle, claiming those chests. It's important to know that the spawn timer for chests are 40 seconds, so you need to keep track of that in your head. Um, which can be hard and daunting at first, but you really need to get used to it, um, because the entirety of this game is gold control in PvP. It's so important. So, now we're gonna go into the PvP queue. Um, once again, we'll see how far we get. Um, few times are long, especially at high ranking. Um, we are currently Dark Iron 1, so we are pretty high currently. It's, uh, difficult to... It's difficult to grind super high right now because there aren't a ton of people playing, but global launch just happened, so we should be able to amp up our games pretty soon here. So let's see what happens. We might have to sit in queue for just a little bit. All right, we found the game. Um, so I'll try and do my best at describing what I'm doing as I'm doing it, um, but we'll see how that goes. First time recording any PvP, so... Well, probably be a little difficult, but we're going to try and immediately drop Dark Iron Miner on our gold mine and Safe Pilot on their chest, as well as trying to get a quick Warsong Raider to claim our chest, setting up for our next Sneed. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, one of our main counters. Awesome. Okay, so Safe here, Miner here, Raider here. That gives us control of gold. We're not super worried about this. We're going to get some air support coming. So 316. Okay. Get a troll up here. Deny their gold, which I probably should have waited. No, it's fine. We have our air support. Boop. Boop. And boop. Nice. Okay. So let's get you running down here. We can deploy you. This unit is okay. I don't know how I feel about it. It's really squishy in PvP. Yep, their gold is up. Which we should be able to contest. Swing this over. Don't need to stun this, I don't think. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's okay, though. We still have this happening. So, get you here. We can stun as he gets ready, which is nice, and then kill the Drake. 
get some more gold. Get a big war song raider. Get that going. Claiming some gold. We can support this push here in just a second. Oh, no, he turned. That's okay, though. Kill all these right now. Yep, all about the gold control. And then you don't have to really pay attention because you're generating so much gold that you're responding to things you're doing on the map rather than dealing with their base um, because your units are going to deal with their base. That's what Raider's really good at. Um, and then the flying support we send. So that was one game. Um, it's Rend. Only a level higher, so it wasn't too much of a difference. Um, so let's get into the next game and see what happens. All right, immediately into the next game. Feels pretty good. Let's see what we have this time. I've been fighting a lot of Rind lately, like today. Over the past, I've been fighting like Murkai's and Hoggers and Barons. Oh my. Um, but Rind's been really popular today. What do we have this time? Ooh. Baluba playing my okay drop here. I'm still not used to this. That's okay. Yeah, we don't care about his. He's gonna drop a smoke bomb, which we don't care about because then we just chain lightning. Like sappers are just not good right now. Both of the chests are done. Just don't care about your sappers. All we care about is the middle lane. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and... Why are you dropping that on the bridge? He's spending so much gold that he's just not contesting the gold under the bridge. Like, we're just about to get a ton of gold here. Yeah, because we contest that too. And then we can get a bunch of gold. Yep. Wow. Okay. Nope. Sorry, friendo. Okay. We can force him to smoke bomb me. Wait, where'd the other one go? I'm not going to kill that if it's just one. I don't know where the other one went, but we don't care about it. Especially when that's happening. Get another one of you. Force you to defend this tower. I'm not gonna chain lightning here. I could chain lightning their base, but I don't think it's worth it. We'll definitely knock you out of stealth and then drop a safe on you. Yeah. And then we don't care about this because we can cycle back the chain lightning. And then it's just GG. I have not really a problem right now. All right. So, not a super tough game. Like I said, Chain Lightning's very good right now. It knocks things out of stealth, um, especially when they're spending three gold on sappers to try and get them to the base. Um, we have Safe Pilot and Chain Lightning, which both kill them, so I don't know why they're trying to do that. Um, they also didn't contest the middle gold, which is huge for us, because normally you open a chest and it's two gold, but if you just let Sneed have treasure, that's six gold. It's insane. Okay, we're going to go back into queue. Hopefully we can find someone quick again. Last two games have been good. Let's give it another shot. All right, here we go. I'm guessing... What have we not fought in a while? I'm guessing Baron or Hogger. Let's do Baron or Hogger. Man, Hughes have been good today. This is actually so good. Okay. Still getting used to blue stacks, too, so... Not as quick on taking the treasure chest. Oh, another... Same person. That's okay. Okay, let's get you rolling. Get you here and you here. I don't care about that too much. It does kind of suck, but it's not too bad. Are you gonna smoke bomb? Uh, yeah, I don't super care about one. Okay, so we took that gold. We didn't deny him as well because we didn't have a safe pilot in our opening hand, but that's a-okay. We can kill these guys here and then get ready to contest this. I don't know why blue stacks is flashing. I apologize. Okay. Come to me gold. Use the rest of the gold to defend Sneed. Sneed. 
I may have timed it a bit early. I definitely timed it a bit early. Oh, I missed it. Oh, wait, we got it. Yeah, I timed it a bit early. We're just gonna have to take this chest and try again. Oh, whoa, we got it. Okay, so we're a little low, but that's okay. We can still keep defending. We're up a bunch of gold, so we don't have to commit anything, really. We don't super care about that. We will break this out so that we can kill it. Hmm. This is a little tricky. We are really low. We're not doing the best job about this, to be honest. That's okay, it doesn't look like he is either. So we should be able to get these. The problem now is that we need to actually deal some damage to his base. I should put burn on so it'll be easy for us to kill it with Sneed. Oh, it went stealth right beforehand. That's so bad. I don't actually want to drop that there, but I just... Okay. I don't know why I didn't kill the eggs this time. That's okay, though. He's gonna smoke bomb these, or not? Okay. Never mind. We just don't care about that, then. We'll just take the base. That's completely fine. Um, we'll get this going again. Oh, get in there, Sneed. I don't really need you attacking that. Yeah, that's good. This is good. This is good. Ooh, the smoke bomb. Oh, that's what I did earlier. That was good timing on his part, actually. I think I just kill him, yeah. Okay, so that one was a little rougher, but we lost gold really early on. He had the good worgen spot in his deck. Uh, we did not have safe pilot. We didn't have dark iron miner. Um, it was pretty rough for us on the start, but we were able to get gold control back. Um, and you can see how swingy it is um, as soon as you get a sneed down the middle taking chests. Um, it was rough to get him there, but we eventually did, and we just got so much gold that it overwhelmed our opponent. And we hit dark iron too. Um, 750 gold, not bad. Um, so yeah, there's the PvP showcase. Let me know what you think in the comments. I super appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for being here. And let me know how your PvP experience is going. If you have any questions about PvP, put them in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much. Have a good one.